Uh, we are studying a uh, Greek grammar course. Uh, third part we study uh, breathing marks. And uh, let's remind our uh, last two class concerning that we study breathing marks, accent and punctuation marks. On the breathing marks, uh, place breathing mark over the beginning letter of vowel. Place breathing mark on the second letter in diphthongs. We know uh, we have uh, two different kinds of breathing marks, right? Uh, one is smooth breathing mark. Show like this. Uh, whenever you see smooth breathing mark, it does not affect the pronunciation. So, uh, amen, right? So this is the smooth breathing mark above the uh, alpha. Ion. So smooth breathing mark on the second vowel because of this is deep tone, right? Mm -hmm. So we already finished word study, amen and ion, and then move down to the rough breathing mark. <coughs> and rough breathing mark pronunciation changed to H sound, right? Which is the throat sound. And then you see the Rough breathing mark above the whips and on, so hutos, right? Hutos. And then the uh, next one is pios, right? Pios, pios, pios. And then the, uh, those are the accent we learn. Three different type of accent existing in Greek grammar, right? So acute, circumflex, and gray. So acute is the rising voice. Circumflex, rising and falling voice. Grave is falling voice. And then the uh, punctuation mark. And we can compare between Greek and English. And then period is the same, right? And then comma is the same too, between Greek and English. And the difference is the colon and the question mark. And then the colon, it looks like a period, but uh, it located on the above side, right? Mm -hmm. So the function of colon and semicolon is uh, detailed information follow on, right? And then question mark, uh, English question mark is like this, we know that. And then Greek question mark, same as semicolon in Greek text, right? And then we finish last week, uh, middle of Hutos study, right? Hutos. And then let's start with the Hutos word study today. And then uh, let's keep on, keep on doing the, uh, the wheels, the word study. Uh, Futos is the pronoun demonstrative, which is the uh, uh, translate is this, these, this, this. Futos is the uh, compound word. Uh, strong number 3588 is ho. And then the A46, autos. Autos is the uh, uh, personal pronoun personal pronoun. So that's why in it is translated depends on uh, on the sentence like this. So talking about ho, ho is the definite article. In English we have a definite article and indefinite article. But Greek language only existing the definite article. Also Hebrew language too. In Old Testament Hebrew also definite article. There is no indefinite article. Mm -hmm. So that's the something different from English. Um, so whole change many different way as you look at here, okay? But uh, the basic form, root form in Greek is first person singular, first person singular. But Hebrew language basic form is third person singular, third person singular. That's why there is a reason why God chose the Hebrew language in Old Testament and Greek language in New Testament. Because the root form in Hebrew is what? Third person, masculine singular. So God was the third person when, you, when we were in the uh, Old Testament status. Okay? And then New Testament is what? First person, masculine singular. So third person changed to first person. So, I become the son of God. So, I become God. Right? But God existed from the Old Testament, Hebrew, right? So, the whole, that's why it is the first person, masculine singular is the root form, we call the basic form. 
from here, it change in many different way. It depends on the case. This is a case we are going to learn in the future. Nominative, genitive, dative, accusative. So that's the on the row. And then masculine singular, masculine plural, feminine singular, feminine plural, neuter singular, neuter plural. Because the Greek has the three genders, right? Masculine, feminine, neuter. But in case of Hebrew, we are going to learn in the future. Uh, also, Hebrew has a three gender, but it is different from the Greek. Masculine, feminine is the same, but neuter does not exist in Hebrew language. And there is a common, common, there is a common gender. So that's a little different. We are going to explain when we study Hebrew. So, ho, which is a masculine singular nominative, when Ho, when this one changed to genitive, it changed ho, changed to tu. So, ho, tu, to, ton. Depends on the case. And then, this is rock reading mark. So, it is not o, e, right? It is hoi, right? Hoi, ton, tois, tus. And move down to feminine singular. This is he. Why? It's rough. Pretty mark. So, he has ten ten. And then feminine plural depends on the case. This is hi, right? <laughs> hi, ton, tai, tas. Neural singular, to, tu, to, to. Neural plural, ta, ton, to, ta, like this. Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, when we say Christ, Christ. In Greek word is Christos, isn't it, right? K, ri, s, to, s, right? It ends with what? Omicron, sigma, which makes it what? Masculine, singular, singular. right? Mm -hmm. Which is a nominative. When this one changed to genitive, or masculine, singular, tos changed to tu, because it is genitive. Tu. So, it changed Kri, s, tu, Christu, which means of Christ, right? Of Christ. Because this is a nominative, this is what? Genitive. Mm -hmm. So it keeps changing, depends on the gender, depends on the number, depends on the case. But we don't have to memorize those because we are using the parsing code, right? Parsing code. So, for example, Christos, for example, when we go to the uh, Roman chapter 8, for example, uh, we can look at here too, the Roman chapter 1, for a bond servant of Jesus Christ. Look at here. The lemma is Jesus Christos, the lemma, basic form, but when it changed to noun genitive, noun genitive, it changed what? To, to which is to here, right? Because it changed to genitive. So, nominative is Omicron Sigma, but when changed to genitive, Omicron Sigma changed to U, right? U. So, Christu, Yesu, Christu. Mm -hmm. That's why I said Christos, Christos, Yesus, because it's genitive. Mm -hmm. So, that's the whole definite article, how we change. So, hutos is the autos, right? So, they translate this, these, etc. So, let's look at the, uh, some example that use the hutos in Greek text. Matthew 3.3 3. Uh, We start from one. In those days, John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Do you remember the repent Greek word? It is not repent, wasn't it? Right? So repent is meta noeo. Meta noeo. <coughs> we haven't studied a preposition yet, but meta is the preposition. Meta. Okay. Meta. So what is the meaning of meta? 
joined, right? Combined, right? So that's the meta. And then noeo. No, e, o, right? Noeo. Noeo is what? Perceiving, right? Understanding. Because noeo comes from noeo. We can look at the dictionary. The strong number 3340. So meta noeo, the, the dictionary says to think differently, reconsider. And then King James translate repent, right? Uh, look at here 3326. Again, like I say, Meta, right? Meta, meta. And then 35, 39, noeo. Noeo is exercise the mind, comprehend. And then King James translate this word, consider, perceive, think, understand. So noeo is the verb. And then the noun, 35, 63, nous. Nous means what? Intellect, intellect. So in order to understand, you have to use your intellect, right? So that's what it means. So repent, English translation, but Greek is metanoeo. So you have to join, combine, in order to understand, perceive. Because you yourself does not have a power to understand. You are not able to understand by yourself. That's why when we go to the Roman chapter 10, faith comes through hearing. So you have to hear from the preacher that is sent by Christos Jesus, right? So, in order to understand, in order to perceive, in order to understand the word of God, you have to join, combined with who? Christos, Jesus, who will bring the perceive and understanding. So that's what it means. So John the Baptist says, repent, which he means join, combine, to perceive and understand, right? Why? Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. But... The heaven is the plural form, wasn't it? Right? The heaven. Look at the heaven. Ah, this is a singular. So we have to be careful whether it's a singular or plural. But many places in Matthew, kingdom of heaven, is a plural, wasn't it? Right? In this case, it's a singular. So, because for the kingdom of... Ah, look at here. I'm sorry. Kingdom is a singular, but heaven is what? Plural. Plural. So heavens, that's right. Heavens. But I was explaining a little bit the plural needs to translate as living, right? Living. So heaven, living. So the kingdom of heaven living, here says, is at hand, but this is the uh, verb indicative perfect. Perfect means already happened, happened. So not is at hand, is at hand. So not is. Have already finished, finished. And then verse 3, for this he, this is he. So then today's word, right? Putos. 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 So this means masculine singular. So this means who? The John the Baptist, right? Mm -hmm. John the Baptist, who was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. So that's the role of John the Baptist, right? Mm -hmm. So, futos. futos. Futos means this, which here in this sentence called John the Baptist, right? Mm -hmm. And go to the 4 3. Uh, we can start from 1. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterward, he was hungry. Now, when the temper came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that this stone become bread. So, do you s uh, for? But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed from the mouth of God. So, 4.3, we can look 4.3. And today's word, hutos. Do you see hutos here? Yes, here, hutos, right? Which is a plural form. That's why it changed to hutoi. 
So os, like a Christos, right? When it becomes plural, it changes to oi. So hutoi, hutoi. So hutoi. So that's why they translate this bread, right? Why? Because it's plural, plural. right? So this bread. So man shall not live by bread or uh, this one. This, he said, if you are the son of God, commanded this stone become bread. Bread. So you see the this bread, right? And then the stone. The stone become, became, may become this bread, right? This bread. So hutos, hutos, hutoi. That's the plural form. And then seven twelve, Matthew. Uh, start from the uh, eleven. If you then, being evil, know how to give good gift to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give? Good things to those who ask him. So we have to ask to Father. But when we look at another place in New Testament, as to the the things that belong to heaven, right? So God is the one who gives to the things belong to heaven. Okay? But when we just look at this one, use only this verse, oh you can ask anything whatever you want. <laughs> right? That's why on here, Christos Jesus is studying here, hearing, here. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will be fine. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks and receives, he who seeks fine, and to him who knocks, it will be opened. Or one man is there among you, who if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent? And then he says here, right? And then when we go the down, and Christos Jesus says, what you need to ask? Kingdom of heaven, right? You need to ask the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness first, right? That's what it says. That's why here, do not ask. Do not ask. You know, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit, right? And then the good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and bad tree bear good fruit. Which means you cannot ask the bad tree, right? <laughs> if you ask bad tree, you will bear bad, bad fruit, right? Mm -hmm. So what, what do we need to ask? Good tree, right? So good tree is what? Tree of life, right? The, the heavenly knowledge, right? So go back to the hutos, we can, we can study here. It was the uh, seven twelve, right? So we go to 12. Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophet. You see the hutos? Yes, right here. Hutos, right? Hutos. In the bottom two. Bottom two. Hutos. Uh -huh. This, right? Uh -huh. This. Uh -huh. Yeah, they translate this, right? This. And then this, right? This. For oh, this, right? This is law and the prophet, right? Mm -hmm. And we, that reminds us the uh, Matthew 22, right? Love your God, love your neighbor. So all the laws and the prophet is inclined, right? Relied on that, that commandment, right? Mm -hmm. And 22, 20, Tell us, therefore, what do you think? Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus perceived their wickedness and said, Why do you test me, you hypocrites? Show me the tax money. So they brought him a denarius. And he said to them, Whose image and inscription is this? So you see the hutos? Hutos right here, right? Hutos. This, right? This. So they translate this, right? So whose image and inscription is this? They said to him, Caesar's. And he said to them, Render therefore to Caesar's the thing that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. That are God's. So we ourselves is the 
text, text. So telos is the text. If you go to telos, which is translated as result, the end, final, right? So depends on what fruit you have, okay? You have a fruit of eternal life that goes to uh, the gods, right? If you have a fruit of death that goes to Caesars, right? The king of this world. So we ourselves is the text. We ourselves is the text. So that's the Hutos. And the last one, Hutos, is showing, we can look 2546. And then the 25 is talking about five wise virgin, five foolish virgin, and then two, uh, the five talent, two talent, and one talent. And then sheep and goat, right? Those are all same story because it all connected the story. And then this is the conclusion of the uh, 25. And these will go away into everlasting punishment. So it is talking about this story is a goat, right? And then the previous story is one talent, right? And then previous story is five foolish virgin. It's all same line, right? So these will go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. So these, I think, right? These, right? Futos, 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 right? Plural, right? So then these means this living, this living. So which is five foolish virgin. One talent, and then the boat, right? Who cannot love your God, love your neighbor, right? Mm -hmm. And what about the the ten virgin? Uh, five wise virgin has a lamp and oil. Five foolish virgin has only lamp, right? Not enough oil, right? Mm -hmm. So not enough knowledge of God, right? Mm -hmm. And then five talent and two talent, they are reproducing, right? Mm -hmm. So what is the talent? Talent is the word of God. Word of God. It says like here, they are uh, translated as accounts. Uh, when we go to Matthew 18.23, okay? Therefore the kingdom of heaven is like a certain king who wanted to settle account with his servant. Look at settle account, account. Account is what? Logos, Lord. Account the Logos. So when when it account to logos, if you have a telos of eternal life, that tax, telos tax, right? It all goes to kingdom of heaven, isn't it? Because I as a tax, right? So he's calculate the logos because he give five talent means he give five words, right? Two talent means he gave two words. And he give one word. So remind us the uh, Matthew chapter 13. Okay? So way of sight, stony place, stony place, and good ground, right? All those are, they hear the word. They all receive the Logos. They all receive the Logos. So he's going to calculate it, right? The God going to calculate it. And then same thing, 25, right? The one we just saw, right? Those talent. And start from 18, but he who had received one went and dug in the ground and hide hid his Lord's money, right? After a long time, the Lord of those servants came and settled account with them. Look at the settled account. Account is the word. So five word, two word, one word, right? And then so he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you delivered to me five talents. Look. I have gained five more talent beside them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. But look at the one talent. What did he do? Then he who received one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown, and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid and went and hide your talent in the ground. So hide your word, right? He does not deliver. Okay? He does not reproduce. 
Look there, you have what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, You wicked and lazy servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. And then therefore take the talent from him, give it to him who has ten talents. Because he got reproved, five talents, reproved five talents. For to everyone who has more will be given, and he will have abundance. And from him who does not have, even what he has will be taken away. And cast out the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So that's the same as what? Five foolish birds. And same as what? The goat. What did the goat? We can go. Goat case. When did we see you, stranger, take you in, etc., right? And then here, and the king will answer and say to them, well, Surely I say to you, in as much as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. So how can I say I love my Lord, my God? By loving the neighbor, right? And then he will also say to those on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed into the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angel. For I was hungry, you gave me no food. Right? So whoever hungry, provide the food, right? Is that spiritual food or physical food? Spiritual food, yes. The manna, spiritual manna. Right? So those are the food toss. Food toss is whole autos, translated as this, these, right? And then let's move to the, uh, the another word study, quios, right? Quios. So roughly remark on the second vowel because wipsilon iota is the diphthong, right? Quios. Os. Os. That's the noun masculine, right? Os. Like a Christos. Jesus. Christos. Jesus. Christos. Tos. So the quios means son. Son. And then the 506, Hyotesia. Hyotesia is adopting as sons. Adopting as son. So who is the only one son? Christus Jesus is only one son, right? And then we adopted as sons, right? Sons. So to, to become an heir, right? To inherit everything from the father, right? So if you are adopted as sons, it's different. Adoption son can be mm -hmm. taken away any times, right? Any times. Because you are not only begotten son, Christus Jesus, right? So we are adopted because of Christus Jesus. Christus Jesus is the first fruit, right? And then we become the fruit. We become the text, right? Through the Christus Jesus. So if you are son, you have to live as a son, son's living. If you leave sons living today, then you are son. If you don't live as a sons living tomorrow, you are not son anymore. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's the son. That's the adoption as son. Adoption as son. So we are not sons. We are not born as the sons of God in the beginning. We are born as the first Adam. So we are adopted son through the Christos Jesus to become one with the Christos Jesus. And we have the name of sons. But if you are son, you live as sons. If you don't live as sons, then you are not sons. That's the 24, 365 days. That is the sons. That is the sons. Adopting son. Uh, we didn't study Hebrew word yet. Um, the son in Hebrew word is ben. Okay? Ben. So bet noon, that's the alphabet, bet and noon, bet noon. So pronunciation is ben, ben, ben. Ben means son. But son comes from the verb bana. Bana means to build, rebuild, establish. And from this verb, ben is the son, but feminine. Pina, Pina, P 
Bina is a structural building, which is a feminine noun. And then, Binyan. Binyan is the structure building, which is a masculine noun. So structure, building. So son is building. Son is the one who built it. Who built it through the word of God. That's the Hebrew meaning, son. So how can be adopted as son to become the sons of God? Establishments, right? Establishment. Rebuilding. Rebuild. So when we think about that, that reminds us what? Matthew chapter 7, wasn't it? Whoever called the Lord, Lord, shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever only do the will of Father will enter the kingdom of heaven, right? So how can we adopt it as son? Build the house on the rock or on the sand? On the rock, because the rock is the Christos. Christos is the knowledge of God, wisdom of God, power of God. And we have to build the house on the Christos Jesus. That is the sons. Son is the one to become the house of God. How can we become the house of God? My house is darkness, wasn't it? And then Christos Jesus shined the light into my heart. And we house become the full light, right? Full light. They called the New Jerusalem. No lights needed anymore because Christus Jesus becomes our lamp, our light. That's the sun. To become the house of God is the to become the sons of light. Sons of day. Sons of day. So it is needs to be built. Build. Build through the word of God. So let's look at uh, those verses that show in the New Testament uh, talking about sun. Let's go to Matthew 1.23. Uh, we start from 21. And she will bring forth a son. Who is she? The Virgin Mary, right? Virgin Mary will bring forth a son. And you shall call his name Jesus, Jesus. For he will save his people from sins. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with a child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. So bear a son. So you see the son? Pios here, right? Pios. Pios is son. So who will bring forth forth son? So who will bear a son? The virgin. Virgin. Virgin is parthenos. 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 Who can be a parthenos? So the apostle Paul says, into the Christos Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. So apostle Paul is a mediator. Bring make make you yourself virgin, right? Before you understand the word of God, what was the status? You were not the virgin, right? Then we were the adulterer, adulteress. So adulterer, adulteress. That show in the John chapter 4. The woman in Samaria met Christos Jesus. And she said, I have five husbands, right? And the husband that you have now is not your husband, right? So who is the true husband? Christos Jesus is our true husband. So in order for the son, who is Jesus, needs to be born inside us, I has to become a what? Virgin. Virgin. The virgin is talking about the revelation, right? Revelation chapter 4. I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel were sealed. And then he talked about every tribe, right? Who got sealed, right? Mm -hmm. And then another place, 144,000 is the virgin. And then 14 too, okay, 14. And I look and behold the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, right? Having his Father's name written on their forehead. 
Same as chapter 7, who got sealed on their head, right? Who got sealed. And then they sang as he wrote a new song before the throne, before the four living creatures and the elders, and no one could learn that song except the 144,000 who were redeemed from the earth. These are 144,000. These are hutos. We just know, learn, right? Hutos. Flood, right? Hutoi. These are the ones who are not defiled with woman. Okay? For they are what? They are virgin. Virgin. So in order to become a virgin, you have to be 140, you have to be, has the number 144,000. We're going to learn the meaning through the Hebrew word, okay? Every number in the Bible has to understand as a what? Meaning, not as the number. Because Bible is a language book. Bible is not mathematical, okay? So we're going to learn the meaning of 144,000. 144,000 is the virgin. They are the one who sing the new song, new song. Because they have a word of God. They possess the word of God. Okay. So they are sealed. Those are 12 tribes, it says on the chapter 7, right? Who can be sealed? When we go to the Old Testament, Ezekiel chapter 9. Look at here. Old Testament chapter 9. Then he called out in my hearing with a loud voice saying, Let those who have charge over the city draw near. So he called the, those a security guard, <laughs> charge over the city. The city is the Jerusalem, okay? So we have a lot of security guards, right? At the, at the city, right? The same thing, right? Who, charge, who have charge over the city drew near, bring them over here. Each with what? Deadly weapon in his hand. Obviously, right? Security guard needs to be armed, right? <laughs> so they can defend the city, right? So talking about the Jerusalem here, so Ezekiel 9, okay? And then 2, and suddenly six men came, okay? So God called those people, right? From the direction of upper gate, which faces north, each with his better axe in his hand. Those are the deadly weapon, right? One man among them was clothed with linen as has riders in corn at his side. So this person is a seventh person. You got six person. And seventh person doesn't have a deadly weapon. Okay? Seventh person has what? The ink horn. Okay? Rider's ink horn. He got the pen. Pen and ink. Okay? <laughs> pen and ink. <laughs> they went in and stood beside the bronze altar. Now the glory of God of Israel had gone up from the cherub, where it had been, to the threshold of the temple. He called to the man close with linen, who had the writer's ink horn at his side. So now he's talking to the seventh person, verse 4, And the Lord said to him, Go through the midst of the city, Jerusalem, through the midst of Jerusalem, and put a mark on the forehead of the man who sigh, cry over all the abomination that are done with it. That's why you have to be cry. You have to sigh in order to put a mark, to be sealed. From the seventh person. Because those six person will kill, right? And then verse 5. To the others he said in my hearing, to the other means to the sixth person, go after him. So go after the, the seventh person, right? Because seventh person doesn't have a badly weapon. He only go through what? To mark. Put the mark on the head, right? But who can put the mark? You have to sigh and cry, right? So you have to say, Bring, give me some water. I'm looking for the true order, right? I want to become a son of God. This Jerusalem, Jerusalem means peaceful teaching. In Hebrew meaning is peaceful teaching. So this Jerusalem has to become new Jerusalem. I want a new peaceful teaching. I want to sing the new songs, 144,000. You have to looking for, you have to asking for. Then the seventh person will be marked on your forehead, right? And then the other, he said in my hearing, go after him through the city and kill. Because they have a better ass, right? Kill. Do not let your eyes spare, nor have pity. Utterly slay all the young woman, maiden, and little children, and woman, but do not come near anyone on whom is the mark. Because mark, they are moving on to what day? Sixth day to the Christos Jesus. Because Ezekiel talking about fifth day. 
Okay? So you need to look for and asking for the kingdom of God and His righteousness to move on to the sixth day. But those people who's not asking, they will be killed. They will not be marked. So do not come near anyone whom is the mark and begin in my sanctuary from here. So they begin with the elder who were before the temple. Then he said to them, Defile the temple and fill the courts with the slain. Go out. And they went out, killed in the city. So who can become a pure virgin? 144,000 on your head, right? You have to be sealed, right? So those things happening fifth day. Who wants to understand the word of God? Who are willing to become a children of God? And they are moving over to sixth day. Bible Greek, Bible Hebrew to understand the Bible. So Christos Jesus is born where? Through the Virgin. The virgin is the one marked, right? 144,000, right? Virgin is the one who willing to become the bride of bridegroom who is Christos Jesus. So in order to he become my husband, you have to bring forth a son. Right? You have to bring forth a son. So think about it. When woman pregnant the son, Every nutrition, whatever you eat, that goes to son, right? Mm -hmm. That son. So when son deliver, you labor and then deliver the son after 10 months in the womb, right? So you give everything what you got to the son, right? So son is you. Son got everything from you. So that son is same as you. That son is grow up. And then become one. Become one. And then you become son. That's what Bible is talking. That's why I said, what is the gospel? Birth of Christos Jesus. Where? Inside you. In order to, to do that, you have to become a virgin. And you have to become a what? Mary. Mary. What is Mary means? Mary. Maria. Mary. Rebellion. So you can sing new song. You have to rebel the old knowledge. <laughs> Then you have those two conditions, actually three conditions, right? So Christus Jesus born in where? Bethlehem. What is Beth? House. Lehem is the bread. House of bread. Okay? And then Lehem comes from the verb Laham. Laham means battle, war, which is a house of war. So in, you are the house. You are the house. Then the war has to be happen inside you. What war are we talking about? The law of sin and death and law of spirit of life. Those knowledge is fighting. When you hear the voice of Mikael, who is like God, who is true God. Then sevens will be marked on, right? And then Christus Jesus is born through you, inside you. Inside you. 4-3, 4-3, Pios. Uh, we went there before, uh, Futos, but we just go again. <clears throat> then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights afterward, he was hungry. Now, when the temper came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. So, Son of God, Son, should be Son, right? Son. Yeah. You see, feels, right? So, son, if you are, if you are son of the God, to Deo, right? To Deo. Ape, command, command. Poi litoi, litos. Litos means stone, okay? Become this bread, hutos, we just saw that, right? Hutos. And he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word, kurema word, right? That proceeded from the mouth of God. So stone is what? Lidos. 
Stone is Li Do. In Greek word, Li Do Li Do, right? The Hebrew word stone is Eben, Aleph, Bet, Nun. You see the Ben is the sun, right? This is sun, right? But Eben is the Lidos, which means stone, right? Stone, stone. So Eben is the stone in Hebrew word. So we haven't studied the meaning of Hebrew yet. Aleph is the first person. And also Aleph is the human nature. So how can we become stone to become the sun? You have to drop Aleph, isn't it? You have to drop yourself, first person. My knowledge has to be gone to get the God's knowledge. Whose knowledge? Son's knowledge, right? Christos Jesus' knowledge. And then you have to drop what? Your human nature by receiving the God's nature, God's knowledge. Then you become son. You become son. That's the Hebrew meaning. Do you remember the Jacob poured the oil into the stone? Into the stone? Let's go there. And before we go there, you know the, uh, the John the Baptist is talking to the Jews, the brood of vipers. So do not proud you are the sons of Abraham, right? Children of Abraham. God make this stone into the sons of Abraham, right? Mm -hmm. We just quick go there and move to the, uh, the Jacob. 3.9. He showed the uh, Matthew 3.9, Luke 3.9. Okay? Do not think to say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our father. So what they are talking about father is the physical father, isn't it? So what is the meaning of father? Once we learn the uh, Hebrew, father is Abu. Abu means father in Hebrew word. Abu is, Bet is a house, like I say. We learn house. And then Alev is the first person, human nature. Okay? So Abu is the one, through the God's nature, make myself to become the house, God's house. So father is the trainer. Father is the educator. Hebrew, New Testament Hebrew, chapter 12, right? Mm -hmm. So make myself to house of God. He is the one father. So Apostle Paul educate, train the Timothy, right? And then make the Timothy to become the house of, house of God, right? So that's the father. So how, how can the God make the stone raise up children to Abraham? We have every man as our father physically, but I say to you, God is able to raise up children to Abraham from this stone. So, the stone, Abed, to become what? To become children of Abraham, right? Mm -hmm. Children of Abraham. So, through the what then? Word of God, the Rema is there. Because the stone become son by dropping the first person, by dropping the human nature, right? That is what? Through the grammar process, through the knowledge of God, right? Mm -hmm. So when we go to that story like a Jacob, he's talking about the house of God. Uh, Genesis chapter 35. He starts like this, 35, 1. Then God said to Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel. Bethel. Bethel means Bet is house. El means God which is house of God, house of God, Bethel, and dwell there, and make an altar there to God, who appeared to you when you fled from the face of Esau, who is his brother, right? Mm -hmm. And then your brother. So now he's on the way to go to who? The, his uh, uncle's house, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then here, verse 7, and he built an altar there and called the place El Bethel, right? House of God, right? Because there God appeared to him when he fled from the face of his brother. And then the God appeared to Jacob again when he came from Patan Aram and blessed him. And God said to him, Your name is Jacob. 
your name shall not be called Jacob anymore, but Israel. Yes. So Jacob changed to Israel, which means he became the house of God. Right? But Israel shall be your name. So he called his name Israel. Okay? And then here, then God went up from him in the place where he talked with him. So Jacob set up a pillar in the place of he talked with him, a pillar of stone. Stone. Look at the stone. Stone. Eben. Stone. Eben. Right here. Okay. And he poured a drink offering on it and poured oil on stone. Then what is oil? Masha. Uh, Shemen. Shemen is oil. Shemen. Chrisma. Christos. Chrisma is rubbed with oil. So he poured the Christos, the knowledge of God, wisdom of God. Then obviously become the son. And Jacob changed from change from Jacob to Israel. Man changed to son of man. Okay? Son of man, son of God. So stone becomes son through knowledge of God. Through Rema. So Satan tests to Christos Jesus, right? Obviously, he can make the stone into bread, right? Bread. Through grammar. That's why Christos Jesus says, man shall not live by bread alone. Physical bread cannot make the stone into bread, into bread. Physical, physical bread cannot make the stone into sun. Because I am the living bread, Christos Jesus said. Sun is the bread. So stone can be bread, stone can be sun. Through what? Pouring oil, right? Pouring oil. Through the knowledge of God. Through the grandma world, right? The grandma world. Wow! Now we know how, how can stone become a sun, right? <laughs> <laughs> but to the people who is not believing, it looks foolish to them, right? Like the first Corinthians says, right? But to us, it's the power of God, right? 1338, Matthew 1338. Uh, we can start from 36. Then Jesus sent the multitude away, because he always say parable in multitude, mm -hmm. right? Went into the house, and his disciple came to him, saying, Explain to us the parable of the tares of the field. He answered and said to them, He who sowed the good seed is the son of man. Look at the son, the Krios, right? The son of the man, right? The son of the man. So son of the man sowed the good seed, right? Son of man. Okay. And the field is the world. We learn those cosmos, right? The good seeds are sons of the kingdom, right? So here again, son, Krios, Krios. But plural form, isn't it, right? Plural form. So P-O-E, both changed to O-E, right? P-O-E, P-O-E. So P-O-E test Basileas. So the sons of the kingdom, the sons living of the kingdom. The enemy who sow them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. We learned that Angelos is the reaper, right? Therefore, as the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so it will be at the end of this age. The Son of Man will send out his angelos, and they will gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and those who practice lawlessness. So, pios, pioe, right? The sons of the kingdom. So, sons of the kingdom is what? Good seed, right? You have a good seed, right? You are the good seed and you have the seed because seed is the Christos Jesus is the seed. Then you can change stone to become sun, right? Bread, right? And then Mark 1 and 1. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So son, right? Pios, son of the God, right? Son of the God. So Christos, Jesus, Jesus Christus. So genitive. So I that's why I call Christos Jesus genitive relationship. Okay. So arche to Evangelion, 
Evangelion is you is good. Well, Evangelion is message. Good message. Good message is gospel, right? Mm -hmm. So, begin of the good gospel of Christos Jesus, son of God. Son of the God. Okay. So, son of God himself is what? The gospel. Son of God. There is a Christos Jesus go through in my life, right? Through in my life. He's born, his resurrection, his presence, right? Mm -hmm. So go through the Christos Jesus. Those are the what? The gospel process, right? Mm -hmm. That is the beginning, right? That is the beginning. And then end is to become the son of the God, right? Mm -hmm. Christos Jesus is the son of God. And then we become the sons of God, right? Sons of God. So Pios, son. Luke 9.22 Saying the Son of Man So there says in the mark is the Son of God The Sons of the God, right? Prios to Theo Sons of God Here is Son of Man, Christos to Pion to Andropos. So, all Pion, all Andropos. The son of the man, right? So, the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised the third day. Then he said to them all, If anyone desire to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily, follow me. Here is the uh, not follow me, right? Akolyu Teo, we learn, being on the same way. A company with me. We have to be on the same way, what he did, right? For whoever desired to, he, to save his life, this is not life, wasn't it? Right? So this was not life. Life is joy. This is a push care, right? Push care. What is the push key? Your physical breathing life. Breathe. So when we say life, there is the eternal life, right? Which is God's life. So this life is not talking about God's life. This, this life means my life, my personal physical life. Okay? So whoever desires to save, that's why I don't say life unless it is the God's life. I say the, the Greek word push key, which is your physical breathing life. Breathe. You're free. Okay? So 5590. 5590. Okay? Push You know, the dictionary Push. says soul, inner being, or life, breathe. The heart's desire, divine passion, one soul. You know? They translate push in many, many different ways. So, unless you see the Greek text, you don't know whether it's pushke or not. I will show you how King James translates many different ways on pushke. Okay. You see here pushke, right? Pushke. Okay. Pushke. King James show 62 times on pushke. One time affected. One time even say what? Doubt. Pushke translated as doubt. One time. Okay. And then one time is heart one time heartily and ten times life so life is one of the one we are sowing right now right and then lies four times mind even mind one time and soul 25 times soul right soul and then souls 70 times so push get translate many many different way like this okay push get In Hebrew, all the push case is nepeshi. Nepeshi. You know, when the Adam was born, it was nepeshi haya. Genesis 2.7. If we go to Genesis 2.7, And the Lord God formed the man of the ground and breathed into his nostril the breath of life, and man became a living being. You see living being. First Adam is living being. It says, Nepeshi haya. Nepeshi hai. Nepeshi. 
So push k is n e p e s h i Look at here. Push k. 53.15,right?ne,pe,shi,ne,pe,shi,is,how,it,how,it,right?you,know,this,this,translate,is,what?soul,right?so,that's,why,they,translate,soul,many,times,in,the,new,testament,is,ne,push,ke,right?push,ke